What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. Today we're going to be coding a Call of Duty Discord bot. I actually coded this during a live stream, so if you guys want to see more live streams, make sure to subscribe to this channel as I'll be coding multiple bots during a live stream. So the API that we're going to be using is this one right here. It's called the Call of Duty API. I'm going to have this in the description below, the link to this. Come here, go to the docs down here, and this is where you can find all the information that we're going to be using. So what you're going to need to actually connect to Call of Duty is a username and password, which is just your typical username and password if you try to log in to the Call of Duty website. And as you can see, the platforms that this API supports is PlayStation, Steam, Xbox, Battle.net. I think this is Activision. And there is also a number identifier if you can get a lot of information through the number. I'm really not sure what this is, but mainly you're going to be using the PlayStation uh, some Steam, some of the Xbox, and then the Battle.net platforms. So all the way down here, there's actually a couple things that you can check. The first one is all the Call of Duty multiplayer games starting from, I think, Black Ops 4 all the way to the current Call of Duty, as well as the Warzone details. So if you, you want to get information about Warzone, you're able to do that as well. So make sure to check this out in the description below if you want to see what all of the API or this API wrapper here is going to let us do. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up your project. If you're new here, make sure to watch the whole entire playlist if you are lost as we recently restructured all of our project. First thing we need to do is go into your .env file and we're going to create two variables here that are going to hold the Call of Duty username as well as the Call of Duty password. Now I'm going to go ahead and type my own Call of Duty username and password here and I'll be right back. All right, so I entered my username and password into a .env variable. We're going to create a command. What we're going to basically do is be able to type, and actually I can show you since I coded this in a live stream, we're going to be able to type mpcheck the battle.net or PSN or Xbox IGN, as well as the platform that we're checking. And the bot is going to send an embed like this with multiple stats based on the username. So these are my stats for Call of Duty. They're pretty bad. But we're going to be able to see the games played, the wins, the losses, my KD, how many kills I've gotten, the deaths, um, my longest kill streak, and the total time played. So to do this, let's go back into our project, create the command mpcheck or whatever you want to name the command. So mpcheck.js. And we are going to do the typical module.exports and get our command running. So the name of it is going to be the same name as the file. So mpcheck. You can add a description if you like. So this uh, description and description can be uh, this command shows stats for call of duty. Doesn't matter what the description is. Go ahead and do the execute method. Execute. We're going to pass in client. We're going to pass in message args and since we're going to be doing an embed we're also going to pass in discord as well and because we're going to be getting a lot of information from the api you might want to have to do or actually you do have to put an async right here before the execute method so it's asynchronous and let's go ahead and get started so like i showed you here there's a couple of things that we're going to have to check we're going to have to check that they sent a username as well as the platform of the user so we are going to have to check for the first argument. So if the first argument does not exist, we're going to send them a message saying, hey, please enter the username of whoever you want to look up stats for. So actually, the first one is a zero. And we're going to return a message, return message that channel that send. And we're going to send a message saying, please enter a username. And then for the second arguments, we're going to check those arguments as well. And this one's going to be for the platform. So message that channel. That's not really it. Message, uh, the channel, let's send. I'm going to send, please enter a platform. Following this, we are going to get the username and the password that we put in our .env. So we're going to create a variable called username. So let username, and this is going to be equal to process. And actually, let's import .env here. So we're going to do require dot uh, env dot config if you have no idea how to store your variables your safe api keys and everything on a dot env file make sure to watch the video as i do have one in this playlist so it's going to be process that env dot and we named it cod underscore username and then let's password equals process dot env dot cod underscore password 
Next, we're going to do a try and catch. So try, and then we're going to have a catch here with an error. And when an error occurs, we're going to send a message to the user saying, hey, there was an error fetching the player. So we'll message the channel to send. There was an error fetching this player. And then we're going to simply throw the error so we get the error in the console. So whenever a user enters a wrong platform or a wrong username, then we're going to send this message right here. Next, we're going to actually go ahead and install the package. I should have done this at the beginning of the video, but open up your terminal and do npm install call of duty API just like this. You can also get this here in the docs right here install. We're basically just installing this right here. Um, so install that and it should take a little bit. It shouldn't take that long. And we're just going to go ahead and actually just require this into our uh, command here. So we're going to do const cod underscore API equals require. And we're going to require the call of duty API and also do empty parentheses like this. Let's go ahead and log in into the actual API. So we start getting information. So await cod API uh, dot login. And here we're going to log in using our username as well as our password. There we go. And now let's get all the data from the API. So let data equals await cod API dot and this is where it gets interesting. You can do many things. Um, you can get the information from Warzone, from Black Ops 4. We're going to be doing the current Call of Duty, which is Cold War. So it's Cold War. Um, sorry, Cold War. And we're going to get the multiplayer stats of it. So Cold War MP. In here, we're going to pass in the gamer tag as well as the platform. The platforms are actually displayed once again here in the docs all the way up here. They have to specifically put these uh, platforms here as their second arguments. So since we're going to be doing battle.net, it's going to have to be battle. Now we're going to do this through an actual embed and getting the arguments of the user. But I just want to show you guys the actual data that we're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and hard code all of my information. So if you come here, this is here, my game tag, gamer tag, and we're going to put this just like this. And the platform is going to be battle, which is battle.net and go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to console that log the data to see exactly where we're getting from the API. So I'm going to go ahead and clear and do no space dot, go back into our discord and we are going to go into cod stats and it's called MP mp check and well let's just do random username and a random platform and let's go back into our project and you see we got a lot of data based on that gamer tag and that platform what we want to get is we want to get the lifetime and then we also want to get all so to actually check the stats of multiplayer come here to data do dot lifetime and then we're going to do dot all dot properties properties so let's do this one more time just to show you what we're getting back from the API. So no space not go back into our discord MP check with the random username, something like this. And then in here, there it is all the information about my, um, you know, battle tag or gamer tag and the platform. This is all we're going to need. So that is what we're getting back from the API. Let's actually format this and put it inside of an embed. So, Instead of hard coding here in the data, we don't want to hard code it. We want to get the user's information so someone can actually enter the actual gamer tag and the platform and not being hard coded. We're just going to do args zero. And in here, we're going to do args one. So the second argument is going to be the platform. The first argument is going to be the actual gamer tag. There it is. And then let's create an embed. So const, uh, const embed is equal to new discord dot message message embed and then in here we can do some random things like set the color of the embed i'm just going to get a random hex color yeah this one looks nice this one right here and then we can also set the title so set title and the title is going to be cod multiplayer stats and then to the description, set description. You don't have to do this. I'm just kind of customizing um, the actual embed, but this is not required here. And for the description, I'm just going to type something like 
odd stats. It doesn't really matter. You guys can customize this as much as you want. And then we're going to add the fields, which is the most important part. So fields, let's open this up and let's get all the fields uh, set up. So the first field, and if you actually check here what I did in my live stream, the first field is going to be games played, then wins, then losses, then KD, uh, then kills, then deaths, and then all of these fields right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So first field was going to be the games played. So the first one is name. Let's do the field of names called games played. And most of this actual tutorial is going to be me customizing the embed. I already showed you how to get all the information. You can do whatever you want uh, by just doing this right here. So right now we're just going to customize it. So at this point, you guys can actually leave the video and customize as much as you want. But if you want to stay here and watch me actually create the embed, then you're welcome to. So value. And the value is going to be data. Then, of course, the lifetime. Got all. Down to properties. And I think it's total games played. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. So I don't have to type this exactly every single time. Uh, so I'm going to copy this. And then also inline is true. If you know what inline is, it's actually inlining um, like this. So this is an inline. This is not. So it doesn't make a new space every single time. And we can actually have this format here with inline. So then we're going to do the next one. The next one's going to be the wins. So name, it's going to be wins. The value is going to be this dot wins. And then of course, inline, it's going to be true. Inline it is true. Let's go to the next one. Next one's going to be the losses. So name, it's going to be losses. So losses, the value is going to be this dot losses. And then the inline is equal to true. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this and just edit it. So it goes from, I think we're going to do KDA next, KD ratio, KD ratio. And it's going to be all the way here to KD ratio, ratio. Next one is going to be the kills, kills, kills. And then roll the way here, it's going to be kills kills and line true then it's going to be the deaths and then over here is deaths and line true and now let's just do the extra two down here which is the longest kill streak as well as the total time played so longest kill streak one final one name longest kill streak value that's not what I wanted. Let's get this right here. And this is going to be, what are we getting? I think it's the longest kill streak. And finally, the game, the total time played. So let's do name. Total, uh, total time played with a value of data that all properties. And I think it is time for some reason. It's spelled differently time played total now there's going to be a problem with this right here but i'm going to show you guys the solution but from this all you can do is i'm just going to set a setter just a footer sorry so set footer uh that set footer and for the footer i'm just going to write a random thing so cod stats by code lion and finally ending this off let's go ahead and just do a message that channel that send embed so if we run our bot here so let's save everything on our bot. No space not. Go into our Discord server. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. We're going to see that it's going to send the embed. And this is where we're getting back. Now, as you can see, the total time played is weird. But apparently, Call of Duty tracks the total time played with seconds. And we don't want this. We want to get the actual hours like I had all the way here. Um, but it looks like everything is fine. Games played, wins... Um, it does look a little bit different from how I did it with the actual live stream. That's because I took more time doing it with the live stream. Um, but this works. You guys can customize it as much as you want. Let's actually fix this here with the total time played. So if we're getting seconds, we have to convert the seconds into hours. And the way we do this is by first parsing this as a float. We're actually getting a string here from the API. We're going to parse it to a float. And then we want to divide it by 3,600. And then we also want to do two fix two to the second decimal place. So let's actually get all of this. Let's put it all in parentheses and then do one more parentheses called parse float. So parse float with another parentheses. 
and then between the two parentheses at the end what we want to do is do two fixed uh two fixed and then two and then we also want to divide everything by 3600 and that actually converts seconds into hours and finally, all the way at the end, what we want to do is do plus hours. So we actually tell them that we are calculating hours. So plus hours. And if we go ahead and run this, we're going to see all the way back here. Let's do the same command. Let's copy this. And it's going to say there was an error friction player. What's the problem? There was an error. Parse float is not defined. Oh, <laughs> that's paste float. It's parse. Parse float there it is clear all right now it should work perfectly just like that there we go we parsed everything and we're getting it into hours instead of seconds and there you go you created a call of duty discord bot once again come here to the docs there's a lot of things you can do you can create a war zone so you can instead of doing mp checked which is multiplayer check you can do war zone check and get all the stats for war zone or call of duty black ops 4 or modern warfare and there's a lot of things you can get the total store loot cod points um, all these crazy things. I'm not much of a Call of Duty player, but you can get a lot of things here with this Call of Duty API and it actually shows you the response, everything that you're getting, and also shows you a quick example on how to log in and how to get all the information that you're going to need. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually something very, um, very interesting here that we coded. I love doing bots like this, which is kind of unique and getting information from multiple people. Um, as you can see, our pot is playing Call of Duty. We also did this in the live stream. So if you guys want more live streams and more Discord.js tutorials, make sure to subscribe to this channel as I'll be posting more Discord bots tutorials. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.